Always chat with him before you chop him down. Fee fi fo fum, a bleating jester has come. I'll set my hound on you, you bum rag. Whoa there. Just curious why you were talking to a tree. But all in all, not my concern. Wait. Hold now. My dent is up true, for scoundrels come and laugh at me. But you, you're... Uh, well, just what the demon are you? A witcher. Name's Geralt. So, folk laugh at you because... Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Louis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See? Not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you... you could lift the curse! Bit too old to believe in bedtime stories, aren't you? Want your chops busted, Witcher? How old I am, that is none of your porking concern. Fair point. Not my business what you believe, either. Ha! Huh. I'm content we see eye to eye. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt. But right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tale of Daphne, Gareth, and the Witch of Lynx, Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second edition. Ament it in Octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover. Colophon included. Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me bore me? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for nights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crud high. But I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. My gran would say, if you know not what to do, Think to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra, and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise even if I wished to. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now! Isolated. No other trees near it. Actually does bleed. Looks like human blood too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. Blood. Seeped from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm-hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks... wondrous. Did I not say so? Willing to help, but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome love for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, 
Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Crag. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why. I will fecking tell you why. To await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Lynx Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher. Hut looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Mm. Mm. A wall of spell enhancements. Or trophies. Silk kerchief, monogrammed DF. Hmm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft. Yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Lynx Crag, would be hard pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. The Lady's Knight. You ever make it here? Sir Gareth. Yes. He came to sway me, but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed a fair while, then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? Refuse to help me, and I'll make you regret it. And force you to. Do you know what really makes my blood boil? Bluster, threats, especially beneath my own roof. Wouldn't need to use either if you'd cooperate. How would I do that, given you will soon be dead? 
Bested me? Tradition ordains. I must grant you three wishes, it seems. You know exactly why I'm here. Very well. I will help you. Albeit I pity the lass, not at all. I shall do what I can to break the curse that imprisons her soul in the tree. Why should I trust you? A word once given, I always keep. Now be gone. Leave me be. I can tend to the rest alone. Remember the deal we made. I have given you my word. I will keep it. But you. Jacob wouldn't abandon the tree of his own free will. Need to find him. Fresh blood and clear, deep prints. Looks like Jacob fled, chased by his dog. Where's your map? Damn it. Damn your ugly. The specter'd be insane, full of pain and rage. Possessed the first living creature it ran into. The dog. Dog then killed Jacob. Farewell, chivalrous woodsman. Sorry it ended this way. Life's rarely like a fairy tale. Still, folk have gotta have faith. Believe in something. <laughs> 